Hi folks and welcome to this week's edition of Outdoors with Bob Coker. We're back here at the Haker Safari Ranch in Lakey, Texas. For good reason. For very good reason. He's blessed to have a cross overlooking his lodge. It's uh, the exact same spot where he got married, right there where that cross is. He right, has... folks, on the mountains that all the way surround his camp. Just beautiful every afternoon, uh, sunset, beautiful pink sky, just a great place to be. Another great afternoon. I was going to say, it was a great evening. Successful hunt. Watch the sunset there in the west. Oh, it's absolutely pristine and gorgeous. I and not to it. mention uh, how he's blessed with animals. Yes. Wow. Oh. He has free ranging elk, axis deer, white tailed deer, wild boar, Sitka, and all dad. Okay, Bob, let's take a look at some scores. I think I'm up by 98 points now after that mule deer in Texas. Let's go to a commercial break and get this over. <laughs> All right, welcome back, folks. Dana's ahead, 98 points in the contest, and we're going to take you to his Hawaiian ram hunt. Yeah, where I'm even going to get further ahead. Well, we'll see about that. I can see those rams feeding and we have the wind just right. Yeah, but can you be stealth enough to get the job done? All of a sudden, while we were waiting on that ram to step out of the brush, there stood a black buck to our left looking right at us. What a shot, man! Oh my gosh, black buck with a bow, folks. That is tough to do, tough to do. <laughs> the Lord has looked down on me today and smiled. Golly, we're out here stalking. Uh, well, pretty much anything that we could find. We were just standing here watching some rams and these black buck just came walking across. Unbelievable. Folks, Haker Ranch here in Lakey, Texas. Folks, they have got the animals. Golly. Whew. I didn't have time to range. That was about a 50-yard shot. Oh, man. Let's go see if we can find some blood and give them a little while to expire. Oh, man. Give me five.
Danny, you pulled the impossible, buddy. I know it, man. <laughs> Thank you again, Rhino. Yep. This, this is one of the animals that was probably the highest on my list of trophies to take with a bow. And I, I still can't believe I got it done. We were actually stalking a black Hawaiian and... Uh, had him spotted. Uh, yeah, we, we were about 40 yards away and just waiting for him to come out of the brush. And, and uh, this one and his uh, co-worker came out of the brush. <laughs> And uh, they spotted us about the same time we spotted him, and the smaller one was in front, and he took off running, and then this one came out. He had no clue why his buddy was running off. And yeah, he never he, saw us. He, he ran with him and came across an opening, and old Whistle. Rhino, Rhino, stop. well, he actually bled at him a couple him. of times. Trying to get him to stop for him. Whistled twice and got him to stop. And, and I made a quick estimate on yardage. Yeah, he and didn't have time to shoot him with a range Fortunately, it was fire. correct. But... By the time there, I went 50 yards. These animals are so quick. He turned, and I caught him right back in the high. Caught him right here. Got Fortunately, good. got a femur artery, and uh, he bled out in a real short order of time. But I'm going to tell you what, there's not too many people that have ever killed a black buck with a bow, let alone a 50-yard shot. Stop. And, Spot, spot and stalk and, stalk and, and stalk, him <laughs> running. And, I mean, it just you were blessed today. Oh, man. You were there's blessed. No telling. Folks, don't y'all go away. We got a whole lot more hunting here with Rhino at Haker Safari Ranch. Y'all don't go away. We're back, folks, at the Haker Ranch, and that black buck put me up. 146 points. 146 points, but not for long, what folks. What color is that dress, Bob? I am. I'm <laughs> hunting Axis deer. We're going to go to my hunt, and I'm going to pull that out. Rhino refreshes my come here, deer. And the hunt is on. We're here at Haker Ranch again, where all those all dad are. He's got a bunch of Axis deer, all kinds of free-ranging exotics, black buck, Texas dog. We don't know what's going to come in, but he's got lots of pictures of some Axis deer coming in at this blind, and that's what I'm after tonight. Let's see if he gets this one. of that three-day harvest, and he ain't gonna be able to stand it. He'll be in here in a little while, you can guarantee it, man. Just sit back and wait on him. About two hours later, here he comes.
Folks, he heard one of us. Even though we were masking our sounds with the noisemaker. Folks, we're going to go to a commercial break. When we come back, we'll show you what that axis deer ended up doing. Now, folks, let's see what that axis deer does. With that noisemaker masking our sounds, that axis deer went right back to feeding.
He was standing right here, and there is a major blood trail. There ain't no doubt. That's a deadly combination sitting right there, folks. You can say anything you want to say about bow hunting, Matthew's bow, new fletch, fletchings, the swacker broadhead. <laughs> it's as deadly as any rifle. Let's go put my hands on that velvet bone. This is the first axis deer I've ever shot that was still in velvet. Let's go find him. Follow the red brick road. All the blood splatters going that way. No question. He went that way and the blood proves it. Doggone, Bob. You showing out out here in Texas? Hey, I'm showing out. And I tell you what, folks. I am going to win this contest. I'm not wearing no dress. You well, are. I know. You got to help me out, buddy. I'm, I'm trying, man. What happened you, you there? You know there's some money coming your way. I thought it was your turn to shoot, wasn't it? <laughs> it was, but I knocked him out of the way and picked up the bow. <laughs> Look at this, folks. Look at it. Rhino Outdoor Adventures. We're here at Haker Ranch, and they've got some game. Free range, exotic animals like this. If you want to go on a hunt, Call the number at the bottom of the screen. Rhino will set you up now, I'm telling you. Good job, Bob, man. Hey, man. Way to go. <laughs> yes, Dana? sir. He told us exactly where he was going to come from. He knew where they were bedding. He had them patterned. He's been feeding them for a month before we got here. Had the blind out where they'd be used to it for over a month. You know what you're doing? A you blind man could have done <laughs> A blind man, yeah. I, I think I was trying to tell you the pattern, but... Uh, he came uh, the same way the ones did earlier today. We missed after your morning hunt. Yeah, unfortunately. We, we moved, you, you moved too soon. Yeah, huh? I was in another blind, and they came in this morning around 9.30, wasn't it? 9.30. Mm, 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 mm. And, uh, wow, what a, what a trophy. What a trophy. How long are they? Those are 28. 28, I was going to say 30. Pushing 30, we'll put a tape on him. Yeah. He's a beautiful axis bow. So Absolutely gorgeous. Wow, wow, wow. Fully and free range. Free range. Free range. Fully folks. tipped out there in velvet. Wow. He, he, he's, he's done. They'd be shedded out here in a couple weeks. And fat. I don't know what you've been feeding them, but these things are fat. They're big deer. And a lot of people don't know, but this is the best tasting venison of any. Yes, sir, buddy. The best of all the venison I've ever eaten, and I've eaten a bunch of them. Folks, till next week, be safe. Shoot straight, and may God bless.